What goes around comes back again. Uh, we're ready to grow, we're ready to win. Uh, we're steady to flow, beginning to end. All the ladies and the men and children, we so amazing. Connect Sports Season 2 once again has players making goofy gestures in an attempt at a playful simulation of the sporting life. Players can go at it alone or share the embarrassment with friends and family members in a choice of six sports, all of which are new in the sequel. You'll play abbreviated versions of football, skiing, baseball, golf, tennis, and, well, darts, which was presumably included to make bar patrons feel like they're athletes. Zero. Unfortunately, a trifecta of motion detection issues, simplistic play mechanics, and a distinct lack of depth undermine the appealing presentation and upbeat attitude, especially when compared to the standard set by Wii Sports Resort. Not all of the games in this collection work well with the Kinect sensor. In baseball, for example, you'll face the pitcher and move your arms to swing. Simple enough, right? The problem is you don't see your batter on the screen, and timing the ball is difficult from a first-person perspective. You'll end up just swinging as fast as you can with results that feel more random than accurate. Contact, and they reach the base. Darts also suffers in its Kinect translation. Without the weight of an actual dart in your hand, you can't rely on feel to score, even though the throwing motion is the same. You'll ultimately have to lean on a cursor to help target the dart instead of using your eyes and arm. One. The rest of the games fare better, though none are particularly outstanding due to the limited scope. Football has you hiking and throwing the ball to receivers, running in place, and kicking field goals. Skiing has you crouching and swaying your body left and right to steer through gates, while golf offers an assortment of visually appealing courses to swing your arms through. Better give it plenty of power. Tennis has you using your outstretched arm like a racket to return volleys, and you can even vocally object to a line judge like John McEnroe. The problem is you don't actually move across the court, taking away a large part of the game's strategy. Each sport also offers one variant, such as a home run challenge in baseball, to offer some competitive fun with others. Home run! While all of the events offer glimpses of the Kinect's potential to enhance sports games, they're too basic and imprecise to satisfy fans looking for a new way to control their favorite athletic events. There's also not nearly enough content to keep the party going for more than a 30-minute session. Had the developers added more activities or expanded the six included sports beyond the scope of a minigame, Kinect Sports Season 2 could have been a first-round pick. Strike two, throws a strike.